Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some updates on some of the swing trade plays uh, that I've talked about on the channel. I'm just going to give you some insight on what I'm doing and also provide some key support and resistance levels for everyone who is still in these particular plays. So just to reiterate, I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research before investing in the stock. Also, if you find value in today's video, smash the thumbs up button because it really helps um, drive the YouTube algorithm and get this video out to more people. And if you enjoy our content, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. So let's dive into it, guys. The first play I'm going to talk about is Genius Brands, ticker symbol GNUS. We talked about this play several videos back about buying in at about the you know dollar ninety to two dollar level and riding it up about twenty percent to the two twenty uh two twenty mark. So if you got in here about the one eighty, you know, one eighty eight, one ninety level and you know you <clears throat> you've been in this play for a few days or a week or so, then um now would be you know probably a good time to take some profits off the table and uh wait maybe for a pullback to get back in. This doesn't have an exceptional amount of volume. In fact, I took profits today just because it was moving too slow for me. I was getting a little impatient, but I was still profitable, so I took it. And, you know, originally my plan was I'm going to ride this up to two or 275 ish closer to $3, and, um, and cash out. But I decided that um, I want to go ahead and take profits now. And if it dips a little bit more, I'm going to get back in. And then, you know, I'll just keep riding the wave up, um, you know, closer to that $3 mark. All right, guys, next one up is Golden Nugget Online Gaming, ticker symbol G-N-O-G. I know you guys, some of you, hate this stock with a passion because after the merger, it just kind of went poo-poo on us. But um, i just kind of show you here. At the end of the day and after hours, it started moving a little bit and got as high as about $19.10 and hadn't really done too much after that. We did switch over from a bearish to a bullish pattern to MACD. On our RSI, we're a little bit above fair value. Um, so let's see what kind of happens tomorrow if we continue trading upwards or if we you know, have you know, um, false breakout and just fall back down. But we did poke our head out above this resistance level. So if we can get above it, then this 1886 is gonna act as support. 2104 is gonna be our resistance. I feel like I've been saying this for weeks because it hadn't really done much uh we still tr are trading below that sma line so that's going to be the big indicator uh letting us know when we are um you know changing directions you know for a longer uh, time period so once we can make our way above that sma line and hold then that's going to be a good sign for us moving forward that we're uh, back on the up and up so my plans for this stock obviously i'm not selling yet uh, it's going to take a little while obviously so um, holding till we get closer to or at the $30 level. All right, next one up is SNPW, Sun Pacific Holding Corp. We talked about this one on our Sunday night stock pick video. And uh, we talked about how this one, you know, we had have some upside potential of this particular stock. So uh, I got in at around the 13 cent level and wrote it up today to um, I think I ended up cashing out at about 20 to 21 cents and so it took my profits it rose you know very quick just within you know two days I saw the profit that I wanted so I went ahead and took that off the table um, and, <clears throat> and I'm glad I did because I saw you see here we have a red doji candle and uh, we could see you know potentially a little slight pullback because we are close to or at that over uh, overbought status so our support level here uh, should be at about close to 13 and a half cents if it dips below down here. And then your resistance is going to be about 17 and a half cents. So I do see this one um, going higher than what it's trading at now. So if we do get a slight pullback, I'll probably go ahead and hop right back in it and then ride it back up again. And every time we hit, you know, uh, overvalued status, I'll just cash out and kind of keep on riding the wave up on it. All right, guys, next one up is Hemp. We made a few videos on this particular stock over the last couple of days. And originally, I decided that I wasn't going to 
you know, take profits on the stock. I knew they were going to have a pullback, but I figured I'm just going to wait it out and, um, you know, kind of ride the wave out. But uh, today I was up 114% on the play. So I went ahead and took profits. And then I'm going to wait on the pullback, which I know is coming because, um, as you can see, that we are overbought. So even if it's a slight pullback, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my earnings and I'm going to buy more. I'm going to basically enter the back into the position and be able to uh, double my position moving forward. So um, as of now, it's sitting right at that, um, you know, right above that um, support level of uh, two cents. A little over two cents and your resistance is going to be 0 0.266 so um, if it busts below the 0 0.221 then we can see some room for downside I honestly feel like it's going to get down into uh, the one cent range possibly unless you know tomorrow who knows it may come out and just you know shoot up to 10 cents or something I don't know that'd be just my luck but I do anticipate some type of sell-off because every time that you have a stock that just basically goes straight up like this I mean there's there's only one way to go from here right you're gonna have some people taking profits selling off and uh, that's whenever I'll come back in and scoop up and then just hold all right guys and the last one for today is UVXY so I'm looking at this stock here. I have um, have some shares in it. Average cost of about ten dollars, and that's roughly what um, it's at now after hours. So um, it's you know at its lowest one of its lowest points. It's undervalued, okay. And looking at the S and P 500, we are um, due for you know another pullback, and typically. You know once a week we'll get one so let's look at the s p 500 and if you're, you're familiar with this etf this goes opposite of the s p 500 so as you see the s p 500 has been in an upward direction um past couple of weeks so of course uvxy has been on you know the downward uh, slope so let's take a look at the s p 500 and this is how i make my determination on if i'm going to get into this play or not all right, guys, you can see here the S&P 500. We hit <laughs> all-time highs yet again. So, um, but it's just been kind of stalling here at this point, and we are close to overbought status. We're losing some steam here on um, the MACD as far as our bullish pattern. And you see we've been on this pattern for, you know, over a week. So we're due for some type of pullback, and whenever that happens, whether it be you know tomorrow or on Thursday, then UVXY is going to you know spike up a couple of bucks. I'm personally looking for about 20% gain on that. If it wants to go higher, hey, I'm not going to complain about that. But anyway, um, so that's my plan on uh, those plays there. I just wanted to show you uh, my take on these things and what I'm doing. So I um, hope this helped. And other than that, guys, we'll catch you in tomorrow's video.